how are you gonna pay? Can you put it on my bill? <laughs> if you paid your bill, I'd be a rich man. TV had a fine. I'll make it on the 15th. How? You gonna win a lottery? She said she'd pay for it. Hi. Do uh, these come from around here? Yeah, could be. My mother made those. She got any more? I got a large selection of uh, local crafts. Uh, right over here, um, moccasins, mitts, mucklucks, uh, whatever you need. You know, your mother is an artist. It's all um, moose hide, totally authentic. How much do you get for these? $25. Your mother could make a lot of money. And so could anyone else who does quality work. A lot of cash to be carrying around. Best way to do business. What kind of business? My business. Rico Nez, president, Navajo Trading Company. You do this sort of work? No. Nice place. I'd like to rent it this afternoon. <laughs> this afternoon? Ah, you must be the chief, Rico Nez. <laughs> Peter Kennedy. What can I do for you, Mr. Nez? No, it's more like what I can do for you. See, the people in this community do some really great work. This guy across the street, he's just ripping them off. I think we should get rid of the middleman. I'm sure you thought of this yourselves already, but I got contacts. I give the people a fair price for their work, and I take it directly to the markets myself. What's your idea of a fair price? Oh, three, four, five times what he's given them. Mr. Nez, have you been at this for a long time? From Pakwachin to Eskasoni. Conferences, powwows. Didn't I see you at a First Nations meeting in Vancouver? Maybe. <laughs> so how much for the haul? Oh, uh, <coughs> it's uh, two fifty and yeah. hundred bucks for the afternoon. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. I'll see you later. Nice place. Pretty slick. Why didn't we think of that? Oh, I, I did. <laughs> oh, no, I did, but it'd be expensive. I mean, we'd have to fly down there. <laughs> Something you ate for lunch? No, that, uh, that was my moose call. Well, your moose sounds constipated. Needs some practice. Well, Joe's taking me hunting. Joe Gomba? Yeah. He hunts alone. I, uh, talked him into it. You know, you have to live up here for two years before you can get a big game license. Yeah, well, no, Joe's doing the hunting. I'm, uh, just blowing the horn. <laughs> well, have fun. Uh I'll get sooner. Yeah. Been to the nurse. Didn't work. Well, you, you gotta do something. I mean, you can hardly move. It goes away. Well, can, can I get you anything? Nah. Are you sure? Yeah. You wanna go in? No. Why not? Sewing's for women. 
Look, you want to go play with beads? Go ahead. There's nothing else to do. Jeez. Kisselenko buys your work, tax on a profit. And so do a bunch of wholesalers, distributors, rack jobbers, until everybody gets a piece of your action. Mm -hmm. yeah. Jerry paid Elsie $25 for these. You know what I paid for these in Winnipeg? What? 250 And the only reason they get away with it is because we do not value our work. Because we don't value ourselves. God, he's going to start with the motivational tapes. And... Well, like you, we have many artists in Navajo country. My grandfather used to sell turquoise jewelry by the side of the road for nickels and dimes. Now he's workers in museums. We have to honor the artists among us. And the artist within, the raven. For your best work, I'll pay five times what Jerry does. Cash. Sure hits all the right buttons. Yeah, should turn them loose on Indian affairs. Didn't I tell you? This guy's way cool. He's a hustler. Oh. oh. We've been through this before. Haven't we? What happened? Well, I sent Joe to Yellowknife and the X-ray to stomach. They checked his gallbladder, his liver, and they ran a barium enema. And? Nothing. No more nurses, no more doctors. I got my own medicine. Uh. Okay, Joe. <clears throat> Now what? I don't know. Well, we just can't leave him there. Well, I can't help him if he won't help himself. I mean, I think it's his diet. What diet? Well, I think she stopped eating meat. What? Well, it's a process of elimination. Yeah, but he's a hunter. I've taken him off milk products. I've taken him off wheat products. Meat's the only thing left. Again. <laughs> so who are you, the town biker? <laughs> I bet you know everybody in town, don't you? Yeah, why? Well, I'm looking for an assistant. Somebody who knows good work. Somebody who wants to make a buck. You know anybody like that? When do I start? Okay, who do I see about getting a motel room? Jerry. Hi. So did it work? What's that? The moose horn. Oh, no, I didn't get a chance to use it. <laughs> Joe's sick. Oh, the stomach thing? Yeah, how did you know? He's had it for years. Oh. Sarah says he's going to have to stop eating meat. <laughs> Good luck. So what was all the excitement at the community hall? 
Some guy is trying to buy up all the handicrafts in town. What are you running them through, CPIC? A smell hustler. What do you got? Uh, Rico Nez. No address. Yeah. Well, no criminal record. Yeah. One hell of an alias, so look at that. And Rico Yazzie. Yeah, he's got a driver's license in BC, social insurance number in New Brunswick. And neither of them seems to exist before 1976. Yeah. This guy's a shadow. Or something. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. Can you make more of these? Gloves, too? Yeah. Can you make these? Yeah. So can Marie? I can do simple stuff. Well, we're here for quality, not quantity. Ah, oh, merci. Bingo! So where to next? Uh, Wolverine Lake, Agnes Claybank. She makes great berry baskets. Yeah, you got wheels? You rented the band pickup. I did? Yeah. I want to talk to you. What uh, for? Uh, go and start the truck. Go on. Should I call you Rico or Enrico? Ah, I've been at the computer. I'd like to know who I'm dealing with. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. I wouldn't. Well, what'd you find? Nothing. No date of birth, no credit cards, no motor vehicle registration, no record of employment, and before 1976, you didn't even exist at all. <laughs> Well, that's a real crime against the bureaucracy, if there ever was one. Who are you? Well, let's have dinner. And I'll tell you all about me. And you can tell me all about you. Seven o'clock? I'm gonna be watching you. But I have great table manners. Are these the best you've got? Vegetables don't like to travel. They're dead, Jerry. So don't buy them. I wouldn't. I like a man who stands behind his merchandise. This uh, Rico Nez. Yeah? He's not going to come through for these people. Well, it's until proven guilty. I know this business, and there's no way he can keep paying those prices. It's got to be a setup. Mm. How much? $16.50. For these? I should arrest you and I'd pay you. Don't say I didn't warn you. Mm -hmm. So he always pays, huh? No. No, I don't remember seeing him in Vancouver either. Okay. Yeah, thanks a lot. Bye. Who's that? That was the chief of the Eskasoni First Nation. You know this guy? Mm-hmm. He was up there last spring, and he bought a truckload of stuff. Pay for everything? Mm-hmm. He said he was, uh... He was gonna go back and buy a bunch more, but he never showed up. Can't bust him for that. A lot of people have got a lot of stuff they don't know what to do with. I, uh... I don't want to see that happen here. Good bucks, though, for him when he gets in on the ground floor. Yeah, but nickels and dimes when they got to go back to Jerry. <laughs> what would it take for the band to do it? Well, let's see, there'd be four or five trips south every year to set up contacts. Sustained economic development, we'd be bound to get some grant money. So if Rico stays, we win. And if he goes, we win. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Don't let Joe know I helped you with this, either. Hey, look, it's got nothing to do with you. He just doesn't trust doctors. Why? 
watch. I'm watching. Stop. All right, okay. Cook, cut. What do you guys talk about anyway, you and Joe? Oh, well, I sort of sit there and I say something every once in a while. He nods. That's it? Well, he knows that I know that he knows that I know it's. What? Guy stuff. What are you doing here? I'm bored. Does this look like the recreation center? Yeah. Let's play. I agree. Uh huh. Tough crowd. So what is it, Nez or Yazi? Which one do you like? What would I get if I phone Navajo country? Neither. I'll tell you all about it if you do me one small favor. What? Well, I'm starving. Now, now, look, it's not dinner. I'll do all the eat, and you don't have to. As a matter of fact, I won't even let you. Oh, it's cold out there. name was Yazi. My father's name was Nez. They didn't register me because they wanted to keep me out of the residential schools. You know about residential schools? Yeah. You eat here, and you sleep here, and you cut my business up from under me. Believe me, if there was anywhere else to stay, I'd be there. Look, Elsie does great work, but the rest of it brings the average down. You know, this bandit's charged me 150 bucks a night for a room. Now, that's criminal. You can always sleep in the snow. What, and lose your only guest? Say, I bet you know un petit fabulous dessert place somewhere in the neighborhood. Hmm? Yeah. Looks like baby food. Well, try it. Oh, Joe, what's the big deal? I mean, uh, a couple of days without meat, you'll know one way or the other. That what Sarah said? This stuff is good for you. Animals eat plants. We eat animals. This is a really nice home you have here. Who are you? Just a simple trader. And before 1976? Life was much more complicated. Now I like to keep things simple. Not good enough. I was mixed up in something. It was messy, so I left. Something criminal. I am not a crook. <laughs> Could you cut the crap? Don't you have something in your past? Something that you want to forget? Mom, look what Auntie Ella taught me. This is Hannah. Well, hi, Hannah. I'm Rico Nez. If 
you will hold out your hand, I'll give you a dollar. There. You didn't give it to me. What? <laughs> How do you make those moccasins? You've got to cut the leather into pieces and sew them together. You pick yourself a lot because the leather's real tough. Hmm. <sighs> she reminds me of Arizona. How so? Well, clear, clean, dry air. Only one hell of a lot colder. You know, our elders say that your people split from ours and got lost. That's how you ended up here. <laughs> oh, well, our elders say that you guys got lost and wound up in the desert. Huh. Maybe so. Mm -hmm. Well. chance to meet Corporal Olson. <clears throat> uh, Rico Nez. Enrico Yazzi, isn't it? Have a seat. Thanks. You always come here for breakfast? No, only when I have to keep an eye on someone. Well, don't worry. I'll let you know if he tries anything. Uh, have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Drug squad habits come in handy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you find out? You had dinner with him last night. What did you find out? Well, he's a nice guy. That's what I found out. Is it worth it? Yeah. Says he wants more. <laughs> Well, am I still a suspect? What? Your partner gave me the third degree over breakfast. Hey, how about lunch? And you can grill me, too. What are you doing? Taking Rico's prints. Since when do we take prints? Well, I couldn't help myself. Put his glass down in front of me and walked out. He hasn't done anything wrong. No, but at least this will tell us who he is. Come on, you're the one who started this. Go ahead. We don't have to stop here, you know. I have some cousins down in Hay River. Uh, I gotta get going to Winnipeg. I'd love to hit the road like that. Have you been to Vancouver? Yeah, it rains a lot. I can live with rain. It's noisy and lots of traffic. <laughs> I can live with that too. Were you born here? Yellowknife. But I've been here ever since. And believe me, I'm ready to get out. You know, it's always nice to have a place you can call home. This place? This is nowhere. This looks pretty good to me. How you doing? Fine. <sighs> right, Joe. Joe? <sighs> Meat doesn't kill you. This stuff will. That fills me up. With poison. Uh, 
pain persists, see a doctor. You're not a doctor. No. But I know that empty calories are worse than meat. I'm fine. And my stomach's full. Okay, well, you have to live with the pain. They won't notice you scratching your head. And when they say it's not there, you look down. See? <laughs> now you try it. It takes practice. What have I told you about letting strangers into the house? He was teaching me the trick. Time for bed. Mm -hmm. Good night, Rico. Good night, sweetheart. Well, you've got her fooled. She thinks you're great. I got something for you. I'm not looking to buy a dress. <laughs> it's a gift. I can't accept this. But you have to. Why? Because you're not supposed to refuse a gift. Is there more attached to this dress than the fringes? Well, why don't you see how it looks? You mean put it on? You mean you wear that silly red suit with funny hat? And you won't even wear a dress made by your own people? Joe's brushing his teeth tonight. Yeah? Why? I caught him eating junk again. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Well, he didn't uh, care much for those sautéed vegetables. <laughs> no. We gotta find him something that looks and tastes like meat, but isn't. Oh, just give it up. When the pain gets too bad, he'll come see me. No, I don't want to take it that far. Mm. Bring him to your place and offer him supper. You'll have to eat it. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's rude to refuse. That's how I started eating rabbit. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Are you sure you have to go? Yeah, well, I'm sure, but I don't want to. Now, Michelle's off and I don't want to call. Mmm. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye. You have a Dene nose. That's a Dene. Oh. You gonna check my dental records now? I love a man with all his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Ever heard of Ralph Munius? Uh -uh. Ralph Munius had false teeth. <laughs> he was at this power one time, and the drum group asked him to sing lead and grand entry. <clears throat> well, that's a pretty big honor, so we said yes. 
And they started drumming. And he started singing. <laughs> and then his teeth flew out and landed on the drum. <laughs> well, they're a drumming and he's a grabbing and the teeth are a bouncing and he can't get off. <laughs> <laughs> you, you made that up. <laughs> I swear to the great spirit. <laughs> Did that hurt when you got it? I don't remember. These must have hurt. Sundown scars? Yep. And they pierced your skin with twigs? Yep, yep. And ripped them out? I'm the real thing. This, uh, give me a last name. He's wanted for fraud in South Dakota, 1976. I can read. I went looking for him last night, but I couldn't find him anywhere. We can't extradite him, but if he tries anything here, we can nail him. I phoned South Dakota. They, uh, said we should keep an eye on him. Where are you going? I'm going to talk to him. I'll do it. That's all right. Just tell me where he is. He's at my place. I want to buy those antlers. No. Come on, Joe. What do you want them for? And make keychains. How you feeling, Joe? You uh, like to come over for some dinner? Who's cooking? Me. But uh, I got lots of Pepto Bismol in the cupboard. What are you having? Oh, I was thinking of uh, burgers. Okay. I'll see you tonight. How much? Five hundred bucks. Five. <laughs> Did you find Rico? Mitch. Don't be so hard on yourself. I knew something like this would happen. Yeah. Whatever he did, it's a long time ago. It could have been anything, small change. He's been straight with us. Oh, I'll watch him. If he does anything funny, we'll catch him in the act. I think you should wear a thimble and use pliers to pull the needle through the leather, okay? Makes it easier. But Mom and Grandma are always using them. Well, then get some more. You know, that's the fourth kid I've seen today with needle punctures and blisters. Mm. I mean, this, uh, this Rico guy, he's got the town, huh? <laughs> Including my partner. 
What do you mean? I gotta ask you a favor. Could you come to dinner tonight with Joe? I thought it was that uh, boys' night out. Well, I want the boys to eat veggie burgers. I found some falafel mix at Jerry's. Mm -hmm. Who am I, the cook? Read the directions. Well, just in case, I'm sure I can handle it. But, you know, if something goes wrong, I... Please. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I don't remember the last time I seen this town this cranked up. I uh, <clears throat> seem to be running a little short. I'll be back in a couple of weeks. Can I pay then? Mitch, let me handle this. I'm fine. Heard you pulled this number before. South Dakota? Pay in full or shut it down. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you think I'd rip off my own people? supposed to have lunch? I already ate. How do you know about South Dakota? Rick Jones is wanted there for fraud. We lifted a fingerprint. Man. I gotta get out of here. Oh, what a surprise. All right. There is a reason. I don't want to get you involved. Right. A body was found in a ditch on the res in South Dakota. Police autopsy said natural causes. Three weeks later, the family dug up the body. And they found a bullet in the back of his head. It was murder. Execution style. They went to the cops, but nothing happened. No investigation, no charges, no nothing. So what's that got to do with you? I was a witness. He's been on the run for 17 years, Canada mostly. They almost caught him a couple of times. So why doesn't he testify? Because they'll kill him, that's why. Who is they? It was an FBI bullet. And the fraud. The witness had to bounce a couple checks to get the hell out of there. Make a great movie. It's your plane. You're leaving. Yeah.
ran an inquiry about Rick Jones. Rick Jones? We want to talk to him. Fine. Um, throw your bags in the truck, and I'll be right with you. more here, Joe. What kind of burger is this? Falafel. What's that? Small goat. A burger. Thanks, I'm not hungry. I'll just leave it there for you. <sighs> Two feds fly all the way up here on a 17 year old fraud charge. I don't think so. When are they leaving? Tomorrow morning. Rico should be long gone by then. I nearly sold them out, didn't I? I better not see him. You better not talk too long. Look, I'm sorry. It's just hard for me to trust. It's OK. You came through when the chips were down. Anna still has your loony. She wanted to give it back to you. Well, why don't you tell her to hang on to it? Maybe someday I'll be back to pick it up. I like that. Uh, uh, Michelle, I. Take care. You too. 